very, very anointed. And it's, it's just a pleasure that you just, just you're here in our presence and you and we know you're gonna bring something awesome tonight. But no further ado, I want to introduce Miss Childlike Faith. Y'all give it up to my sister. I just put on the floor. Thank you. Speak, poet, speak. I praise God. I'm going to do very similar to Broken Party. I'm going to have my iPhone. But I praise God and um, I just give God the praise. I am childlike faith and it's a blessing to be here Amen. to be able to share with y'all. I don't know. I, I don't take this lightly because it is such an honor for those who minister through a creative gift um, and who Amen. use it. Like we have an opportunity to change people's lives every time we pick up the mic. And I take that very seriously, so I just praise God for that. And I actually minister through spoken word and through um, gospel hip-hop. And I minister with a group called Poetry in the Light, which Ms. Shawnee Taylor is a part of. Shout out. Um, but I praise God for that ministry. It is, like she said, a worship arts ministry that's made up of several different ministers and artists from different walks of life. But two things that we have in common, we all love God. And we all have decided to abandon ourselves to God and use the gifts that he's given us to bring glory to his name and to draw folks to the kingdom. That's what we're here for. And so tonight I'm not going <clears> to <throat> keep y'all very long. I have two pieces. And they're two brand new pieces, which is part of the reason why I have my phone. <laughs> um, but I would ask that y'all would just pray as I go through and I say these pieces. Um, the first piece that I'm going to do is just called Ultimate Regret. I don't know, for those people who have a relationship with God, if you've ever thought about this. Because when we were in the world and we were serving the enemy, you know, he was our master. Now, a new created, recreated being, I serve God. And the one that I used to serve, not only am I, not only does he not have control over me, but now God's given me, not by anything that I've done, authority over him. Yeah. Amen. That's got to be humiliating. <laughs> Every single time, it's got to be the ultimate regret to lose one that he'll never get back. Mm -hmm. And so this piece, first piece that I'm going to do is really just, I, I think I wrote it out of a bit of frustration. I was like, will you? He gonna regret the day he tried to mess with me. Cool. So that's how the piece starts off. It goes like this. It's kind of loud. I'm bringing this back because I might get hyped and get loud. Uh, come on with it. Devil, you gonna regret the day you tried to mess with me. Wow. You were nagging. I had my feet dragging. Attempted murder. You tried to stomp out my light and kill the best of me. Mm. You raped my heart. Destroyed relationships. Had me giving away the rest of me. But see, now I know your recipe. Long story short, Jesus Christ came and rescued me. Mm. See, I remember drowning in despair and popping pills of depression. So consumed with my flesh, I thank God he didn't silence his gift of expression. Mm. I thank God it didn't silence his gift of expression. Lost a godly ambition. I had no real tenacity. He even attached himself to generations in my family. I guess he figured he had the audacity. He showed up with the casket, sympathy basket, and funeral home key. He told his folks, lock it down. Old girl is done. Wait a minute. Dude, you ain't seen the last of me. Because before he pulled off the block, Christ broke the locks and gave life to a sinner. He crowned a new winner. That's me because of he. So, devil, you're going to regret the day. You tried to mess with me. All right, all right. Amen. Right. Yeah. 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 Sure, peace. And this second piece I'm going to do with y'all, just, <clears throat> I just praise God for. You know, one thing I have learned over the last year.